But yeah, Jonathan Davenport got the win on the first night. So the big story coming up, what you want to talk about was the Chili Bowl starts yes. tomorrow, like we said. Don't remind me. How many nights of racing? I don't even know. Six. Six full nights of racing and 300 plus cars. Yes. Uh, move ins complete, it looks like. I've seen updates. Tomorrow uh, and Saturday is the big long days because uh, Flo's even doing practice all day tomorrow. Yeah, they pra- start practicing at 9 a.m. Yes. All, 10 a.m. our time. Yeah, all That's classes practice, or all classes, all cars practice, do some hot lap sessions. And See, then, uh, usually it's like 30 some. I think, think it was down, maybe it's 36. No, I think it's 26 or 27 practice sessions, 28. Yeah. So they do all those and then they start the Monday night program. Yes. After that. So. Yeah. They work the track. They started an hour later on Monday night than the other nights because uh, it's four central time hot laps, five Eastern time every night, except for tomorrow night. It's mm-hmm. five central time hot laps. So six our time. Yes. So. Uh, yeah, big stuff coming up. Uh, you'll hear us talk a little about it uh, with our interview with Kyle yeah. too, because he's also in the the infamous Lonnie Wheatley yes. uh, pool. Dude, that thing is a huge one. He's yeah, changed it to uh, now you got you because you, it used to be PayPal. Now he's got the Cash, Cash App. app. Yeah, yeah, I saw so that. I don't think that'll ruin. I mean, a lot of people getting in. Yeah. I mean, but I got a team. I might have two teams before it's over. Jay Kaiser. I don't know how many. Usually, we pick a team out there. And it used to be what I like. It used to be if uh, now it's just $40 across the board. It used to be $40 if you had in like by Thursday, then $50 uh, by the day of is like 60 bucks. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad he did it that way. But yeah, it's, it's tricky because you got seven guys a night, seven drivers. He did a little different. It used to be eight or 10 groups a night, but now it's uh, seven groups each night. And you got to pick one driver. Then you have a premier group. It's Larson, Bell, and... Why don't I know who's in the other one? In Probably the like Rico group. or yeah, or, yes, Rico. Yeah, is the other one in the premier group, and then your at large group is uh, <laughs> Nicole heard the whistle. <laughs> Did she text yes, you? yes, that's funny. Um, the the at large group is like thirty of the you know used to have group eight like eight nine yeah. and ten of you know the guys that a lot of us never even heard of, and so now you're just grouping those into one and a fellow racer making his chili bowl debut that um we set with last year if that's who i picked in mind because he's got a sweet ass looking car sean robinson he's got an awesome looking car he's on what Facebook. car is it 53 car um i can't I remember forget. i've seen so many dude yeah. so many damn names i don't i know uh flea Ruzik has the evil knievel yeah tribute that looking is car. A, that's yeah, a cool just an all guyer yeah all guyers yes yeah, so, well one. flea always has awesome looking yeah. cars but that all guyer one is yeah i mean that is nice yeah so i don't know the best way to really ask the question or or try to preview it because if we sit here and talk about every division or every division every lineup for every night but i guess when it comes down to saturday who are who do we see say a handful of drivers we see in the a main and have a chance to win it and then who do we think maybe wins it well obviously bell and larson are two favorites for sure I, I 100% and I've said it and I could be wrong. He's been close and Clawson Marshall car has been great. I think sunshine is going to win. I, it's the year to me. I mean, you have Larson and Bell, you had, you know, the years of Swindell's dominated. Then you had year of uh, KKM cars, mm-hmm. you know, and you know, it's been, well, obviously Bell, then Larson's always been there. It's been those two. That's all it's been mm-hmm. to talk about. And the then before that years. it was Rico. Yeah. You know, but the last, five years now or four years that's all let's talk about it's bell larson bell larson nobody else is gonna win besides bell and larson I, mm-hmm. it, it's like every five or six years you get somebody in there and, and not that sunshine would be an upset to win but you get somebody in there like you know the first year i went andy hillenberg won you know you've had uh johnny hayden right to win you know you've had different people mm-hmm. come in there and to win. mccready yeah and i just think it's that year like a sunshine or a cannon Macintosh or a, a Jonathan Beeson or a chase Briscoe. I really, but Beeson's always tough mm-hmm. and they got newer stuff this year. They've put a lot of focus in their chili bowl car. They've had the same stuff for a long time. They even changed it to blue and uh, white instead of red and white this year. And uh, same with Briscoe. Of course he's got, you know, usually he races one time a year. It's really mm-hmm. cool. I, you got some laps in now. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. I'm going to Sunshine. I something just, I think it's his year. I think him racing um, the shootout because he's usually in Australia. Yeah. I think that's going to help him because one, he came up short. He probably passed the most cars than anybody in all four divisions of the shootout and come up short. And you can just tell that little desire, like saying football, he's hungry. 
mm-hmm. he's hungry. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I guess that was my biggest question. Uh, is this the year kind of Klaus and Marshall gets, I, I, I would say redemption, but you know, right. Cause it's like, it's, it feels like it's always them and KKM, right? Yes. Like I know there's Petrie. I know there's RMS. I know there's yeah. these other teams, but it always feels like it's Klaus and Marshall and Keith Coons yep. and Klaus and Marshall has these great prelim nights, you yep. know, and then right. they just kind of, and now boats thrown in there, you yep. know? Well, and I think Rusty Coons has got an awesome team this year too. Yeah. He's got sweet gravel basin. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. He's got a couple others that he's got a solid team too. Yeah. So. But yeah, I really do. I think it's going to be sunshine. I don't know. Something tells me that I, could be wrong but uh, i have that feeling too and i, I don't mean, i think uh, again it's hard to pick against a lot of guys but yes i well the chili bowl is so much i don't want to say luck but yet there is because you can get caught up in somebody else's junk mm-hmm. on the first lap of your heat race and screw your whole week, week up yeah. yeah and well and you can go through you know the c or b on your qualifying night them through the qualifiers and there's guys that's done it but uh you know you need a little bit of luck the first like, like casey schumann a uh, friend of our show i guess he's had shit luck forever i mean he's running good one time he's leading and they got a rule there if your header falls off that he's leading and battling and i think twice his headers fell off that he's been in a transfer spot mm-hmm. shit, you know just stupid shit like that happens but uh and i don't know um i'm gonna say my pick to win is uh tyler courtney and my underdog let's say underdog that somebody's yeah. not looking back Swindell car is going to get back in victory lane, the 39 Swindell car with Logan C. Well, I was going to say, he did not, he was kind of just, eh. Well, he did last get, year at the beginning, but when he made it in the A main, he yeah, passed the he, most cars in any, and yeah. he was coming. Well, and then I'm there thinking was, Bernal was the year before, right? Yes. And that was kind of a lackluster outing yeah. as well. So, well, and CV was either CV or was it Bernal? I think it's CV, like first lap of their heat race flipped. And there's mm-hmm. dug a deep hole on CB. Yeah. If he has a little bit of luck, and I think Sammy might have did some changes too. I mean, so he, what, he's going to be pissed off because the race of champions, which has been a big thing. I was going to say that's another uh, topic maybe to talk about or bring forward is the the race of champions was uh, it was announced that they're not going to change how they're doing it. So yes. that would leave T Mac, Sammy Swindell, and a handful of other top dogs out. Yes. And to me, I mean, okay, it's the Chili Bowl race of champions. How do you have active drivers that are racing in the show ball and not supported, especially Sammy? He supported all but one of them, I mm-hmm. think. And in a lot of years with two cars, well, him and Kevin, the last 10, 12 years with two cars. Um, how do you leave the winning this Chili Bowl champion out? How do you leave any? Like like said, T Mac, how do yeah. you, how's it a race of champions? That, I, I would admit, like, if you hear the term race of champions, you think Damon oh, Gardner's another one. Yeah, you're thinking, okay, everyone that's won the race yes. plus whoever else yeah plus your series championship yeah. i mean because whether there's like 15 guys in it they start 24 and they main why why don't you have your champions yeah it'd be t-mac uh well and there's Jamie there's Gardner. people in it like i i kind of quit following it after a while but there's people in it who have one shit right yeah but because now it goes if you've got on the podium yeah which in a not, qualifying night you're still not the not. champion of anything you finished on the podium right i don't understand exactly well, yeah, and, and you have, and I agree. Okay, you got Iron Wrights on some of those that are series champions, which race the champions. I get that. one does won three Word of Outlaw champions. Right, ex- exactly. I mean. <laughs> right, so I get. Uh, T-Max won Word of Outlaw late model championship. But it's like, how do you have a Chili Bowl race champions with no Chili Bowl champions in it? Yeah. Besides Larson and Bell. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, it is. Very I, dumb. I agree. I and mean, there's a lot of people, and there's a, and what's cool and like Kenny Wallace had tweet about Chili Bowl, you either love Sammy or hate him. He gets a lot of the booze yeah. and a lot of the cheers. And there's people that's even like, you know, we went to Chili Bowl for 20 years and booed Sammy, but he deserves to be in. He, it. Yeah. The, the race champions without Sammy in it is not a race champions. I mean, yeah. there's people like that even saying, like, hey, he needs to be in it. And, and I don't know the, the rhyme or reason for changing it either. I don't, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, just again, you know, like the UMP late model race champions they used to do for the UMP nationals was like, you know, you, whoever was the champion of the state, right? right? Like stuff like that or won the right. big races. And yeah, yeah it's kind of so weird. It is. It's weird. And there's been a lot of talk about it. Um, and they've been taking a lot of hits about it. And so, uh, but they didn't change anything. No, it'll be interesting. <laughs> but they said, well, and Chad boat 
qualified because he'd been on the podium the last couple of years. Well, he retired a couple of years ago. And I like Amy Stone down the other day. So you're saying the 84 cars qualified without a driver, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> and everybody's kind of giving yeah. her some shit. She's like, I'm just joking. But she goes, you know, if the 84 needs a driver, I know a Chili Bowl champion that drive it. <laughs> yeah, like the Chili Bowl champion. Yeah, yeah to be exact. Well, I and mean- and like it or not, for some people, I mean, if you think of Chili Bowl, you think of Sammy, and he's mm-hmm. kind of helped the popularity of the Chili Bowl through all the years. Then Kevin, and unfortunately, you know, with his accent, I mean, he was on a streak of maybe beating Sammy's streak. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it's hard yeah. to say. It's definitely wild. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I always think of guys like, you know, someone that there's two guys that come to my mind to watch, which it's no brainers, uh, T Maz and Justin Grant. Yep. I feel like Justin Grant's had a couple years out there looking like the top dog. Well, he's won the Friday night program, what, three or four years? Yeah. He did. Like, like the first year he was with Colossus Marshall, yep. I remember listening to him talk about it, and he was like, yeah, when we started the weekend, you know, there's five cars there. We're, ours is in the back. We're kind of the quiet folks. He goes, yeah. and after a prelim night, you know, we're up front. Everyone's talking to us. All the crew guys are dedicating more time to us, like, oh, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. Well, so. that's the thing cool about the Chili Bowl, too, is, yes, Larson and Bell's definitely favorites. I think Sunshine's got, but you got a beast and they could sneak in there, but you have a can of McIntosh or a buddy Kofoid mm-hmm. that could easily win the Chili Bowl. Yeah. I mean, can of McIntosh won a prelim night yeah. last year. So, you know, or a CV that could win it or, and one name that, and he's had terrible, terrible, terrible Chili Bowl luck. Some of it's his own. Cause you got to go and you got to go fast there. And some guys get too aggressive too quick. Chris Wyndham. Mm, I yeah. mean, he's crashed a ton of chili bowl. Uh, last year was kind of one of those, but there's another guy that everybody, nobody's really talking about him that can mm-hmm. easily win it. I yeah. Mean, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of, and that's, that's the one thing that chili bowl brings. It's all this talent just kind of comes yeah. at once. And who's the, who's the guy going to do it. And Pittman's been running better every year out there. And you know, there's, mm-hmm. there's a handful of guys, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just think it's going to be sunshine's year. I, I, the reason I say that is I think uh, the shootout, he's ran four divisions. He hasn't done the shootout for a long time. And I just think, you know, I just think that that'll help him. I really yeah, do. I, I agree. For some reason in my mind too, it's, if someone would ask me, I would say Costin Marshall, Tyler Courtney. Well, and he's been so close, Yeah, you know, to be up in there. And, but, and Matt Woods got a great team with, case game but like a ryan Burnell or mm-hmm. a shane goblick same zeb wise yes mm-hmm. and if you look at shane's record in the chili bowl like the last four years i think or four or last five he's made the a main and has been mm-hmm. a decent runner that's a guy you know like i said zeb wise i mean there's it could be many but i just think it's going to be somebody like a courtney or a goblick like said it wouldn't really be an upset upset but somebody yeah. that's not larson and bell and, yeah it is weird to me like you know, and everyone listening and watching, it's weird to me that Bell and Larson have so much damn good luck. Oh, yeah. Like, it's well, 300 when cars. The, when you can cut through the infield and not get penalized, like well, shoot out. That know, helps. That. Um, There's but some like, homer luck there, too, on the Bell you, side. Do you think about going to any any race, right? And there's 300 cars yeah. that entered in this one, but each individual night still 60-plus cars. Yes. If you show up to a racetrack with 60 cars, you're sitting there going, well, and here's shit, this is a tough field. And here's why it plays in their hand. And kind of what we talk about later about podcasts is passing points. You have yeah. to pass cars. Well, who's aggressive driver who passes cars, mm-hmm. no matter where they start a lot, but you know, if you start up on the front row, you have to stay up front or you're going to lose. Everything is passable. Well, Bell and Larson, Courtney, those guys are aggressive drivers that pass cars. You know, that's why it kind of caters, the format kind of caters to guys like that. Then the qualifiers, if you got in the top 40 in points, there's uh, four 10-car qualifiers in the top 16 in points after those go to A. Well, they invert six. So, again, here we go. Mm-hmm. You got to pass cars. Well, that plays right into Christopher Bell and Kyle Larson's hand. Yeah. It really does. Yeah, but like you said, you know, so first lap of whatever yeah. race, your, your weekend could be done. I've much. seen people get – taken out or i've seen people lapping somebody in a heat race and mm-hmm. just here to zero real fast yes i mean yeah. there's a little bit of luck in there yeah actually a lot of luck yeah well cool well i guess i just want to talk about chili ball a little yeah. bit before we got to our interview with her buddy kyle 17 cars right now 317 i think there's what is there i think there's only like 200 and 
90 two or three drivers or it might be 300 and some drivers now but there's mm-hmm. like 10 20 cars without drivers yet but yeah it always happens last minute deals of money it's changing for a ride so of course so uh yeah we'll look forward to the chili bowl i guess coming up next week uh i guess like flow i said racing all six nights flow racing all well hell all six days I yes mean, starting well yeah tomorrow they're doing yeah. dude that trust me monday and saturday are long days if you're there um for the duration because like i said 10 o'clock i won't get over it till 10 11 at night Mm -hmm. um so you're there good 12 14 hours and saturday same deal start at 10 a.m our time 9 a.m out there and a lot of times you're not out there till 11 12 o'clock too so yep well, well, I guess we'll be uh, able to watch it on flow at least if you can't go, right, Dwayne? That's right. Who's your Who's your upset pick besides Courtney? Well, I see like upset. Uh, well, I, I don't know. See, not the or like dark horse. I should say. Yeah. So like, I like, my dark horse is CB. I shouldn't say upset. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I wouldn't say Courtney's an upset. No. Um, someone that strikes to me like, see, like I wouldn't even call Cannon McIntosh a dark right. horse. I would say he's in that level. Someone who I feel is a dark horse would be Cole Bodine. Yeah. Because he's in a class of Marshall car. I get it, but he still is limited behind the wheel right. compared to a lot of other drivers. And he usually does decent chili bowl. Yeah. And he's a good chili bowl driver. Yep. Um, you know, I, Timez is a guy I'd like to see yeah. win too. Just we get to watch him a lot here locally and the dude can yeah. drive. So he always you know. seems to have bad chili bowl luck too. Well, he has good chili bowl luck until the, the main, it right. seems like. Because the last couple of years, he's been good. Oh, yeah prelim nights or yep. or alphabet soup nights he he's yep. made things happen so yep. um you know good luck to our friend casey schumann buddy kofoid brad yep. sweet i mean you know a lot of guests oh, we've yeah. had on this show are racing so yeah we always like to see those guys do well